So alopecia is a rare disease where your immune system actually attacks your hair follicles and that causes mm -hmm. hair loss. But a new drug provides hope to this community. WRTV's Kelsey Anderson live in the studio with us with one man's story and his hope for the future. Good morning, Kelsey. Hey, good morning, Lauren and Raphael. So for people with this condition, it could be life changing. But a new first of its kind drug hit the market earlier this year to treat alopecia and it's giving this tight knit community hope. Josh Heaston can see his condition every time he looks at himself. So every day I look in the mirror, I brush my teeth, I'm reminded I don't have any hair, I don't have any eyebrows, and I'm sick. His reflection highlights the physical changes caused by a disease called alopecia. I had a perfectly shaped quarter-sized circle completely bald on the top of my head. His journey started in 2011 when doctors and dermatologists confirmed his diagnosis. Mr. Heaston, we know what you have. Uh, we don't know how you got it and we don't know how to treat it, but it's called alopecia. Alopecia can be temporary or permanent. It can be hereditary or caused by hormonal changes, medical conditions, or just part of aging. But now he has hope. In 2017, Heaston heard about a new clinical trial for a drug to treat his condition. It's called Allumiant. Led by his faith, he decided to take part, and in July of that year, started taking the daily pill. I was completely bald, no eyebrows, no eyelashes. Uh, no facial hair, things like that. And I believe about four and a half to five months later, all my hair grew back in and I looked like a completely different person. But after the trial, Heaston couldn't take the drug that gave him his hair back, his confidence back, his hope back. And within three months, uh, all my hair had fallen out again. Allumiant is now FDA approved and they say in the clinical study participants saw 80% or greater hair growth. Now some of the side effects of the drug include infections, fever, muscle aches, weight loss and tiredness. But now nearly five years later, Heaston is back on the drug and hoping for the best. Been back on it almost two weeks. I actually have a few little eyebrows growing in. Uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful again and uh, my big thing is I want to have a I want to have a haircut for Christmas. So right now, All You Might is only approved for adults, but Heaston says he took part in this trial for kids with alopecia, hoping one day the drug is approved for them, or at least they have something to look forward to when they turn 18. Now, I did reach out to the creator of this drug, Eli Lilly, and they were unavailable for an interview. Todd.